I'm alive. Hello everyone and welcome. We are going to be continuing more Genshin today, but this time Archon Questing. daily commissions because I have not done that yet. Add Astra tempted to do a tenfold because I kind of want to. I know I'm saving for Capitano, but what do you think, Cap? Fuck it. It's a four star. <laughs> yeah, no, I already have. Hot uh, what? Right. 
prizes. Quit following me. Give it to me. The wind rises. I want, I want to teleport. Marcy! Stop being a little shithead. So, such a brat. There. Behold. Swan Fury! <sighs> Quit following me! <laughs> Dude, imagine she isn't, like, you know, healthy or anything. Well, honey! Wait, you brought our guests too? We're here to help! But you're important guests! Alright, alright. Stop trying to out now. Where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as- Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth- <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm not any bad- Yeah, that works. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. Alright, let's meet back here later. <laughs> I like how their whole thing is shaped like a yacht. Behold. Hello. Hey there, yellow path. Hope this well, if it isn't more luck. That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. Wow, that is a lot. That's right. Uh, keep this between us. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. All right, all right. <sighs> Such a handful. Just give me a moment. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> all in a day's... Interested? They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I prom- Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice- All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check. Let me see. Huh? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, a- So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Aww. Oh, we will. It's gonna be- Well, that's our shopping done.
We're back. How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too. <laughs> I would hope so. We spent all day clearing. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons. All right then, roll up your sleeve. Actually, why don't you two take a break? So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could... So, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family stores. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still... Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief, I mean... I see. Hmm... This could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all... Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Aren't they afraid someone's, like, going to, like, discover it before? Wind rises. Quit following me. Squall and fury. Oh my god, are those babies? Look, look at them. So Hi, can I keep you? Oh, I'm there. Where are I? I do! All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, good night. Ah, to... Anyway, we need to be well. Hmm. I'm really curious if she finds it beforehand. Why now? Traveler, Paimon, Mualani? It's the Abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back. Come with me. I'll take uh, Mualani. A little help over here. One moment. I'll be right there. Really? That's perfect. I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Uh oh. Hang in there. We're here to help. Life goes on. I don't have a team for this. Oh my Let's god. Let's them up! The wind rises. Oh, have they been contaminated by the abyss? No, they are the abyss. Destroy them! Life out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm alright. Go help the others. I, I almost died. Oh my god. We've cleared out most of the monsters over here. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have. Let's go ask Amina. <laughs> Off we go. Huh. Too slow. Amina! It's you three. Thank you for helping clear up. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but we don't have enough... An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. 
One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Oh, shit. Exactly. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just on behalf of the people of the sport. Let's go. There's no time. You were here. The wind rises. Huh. Moani, is that the pilot? That's it, all right. Come on, let's get rid of it. Okay, game, game, game. Shower me with praise. <laughs> Life goes on. The Mao just spawns in right Ooh. next to me. Go. That's far enough. The show begins. see any more monsters so do these attacks happen yeah it makes things hard sometimes but besides the abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are come on we should head back huh what are you looking at is there something over there you're right Luolani. wait that area looks kind of familiar <sighs> what how we probably don't have any reinforcements over there so huh seems like the monsters are decreasing in number Keep it up! Need a surfboard? Life goes on. Judge me! Squall and fury. How amusing. Upon the gale. I do like that they, they included these really unique like designs of characters. Go. The wind rises. Taya, what are you doing here? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm... I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> uh, 
Mulani. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Yeah. All right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is... Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. I fucking knew it. She's gonna die before she gets me, to experience right? it. I know. Atea! You think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. And you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you you have to choose them based on the temperature of... Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together and I'll help you make whatever... The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. No fucking shot! I- No! You- It's been four years! Nuh-uh. 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 I need a minute, chat. I need a minute. So, for context, in 1.0, you go to Mondstadt and you bring a, a crystal that you purify as the Traveler to, like, Lisa, Jean, and shit. And you purify it. And they never fucking mention it again. For four fucking years. Four years! What? The crystal has been purified? Hi, Artie. Thank what? you for the topless. The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Atea! Atea! Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> what is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away. How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. Uh, uh, <coughs> Atea! Uh, the mark of the abyss. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Will, fuck off! <laughs> yes, thanks to the traveler. By the way, traveler, are you all right? All right, so, 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 here's the thing, right? With this theory that the Traveler could purify things, that means he has some of his older abilities that we saw at the beginning of the story maybe potentially unlocked as each nation goes on? I just saw you purify Abyssal Power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? Good. Good. Hey, KK, what's up? Long time oh, Thanks for the lurkies. Thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. All right, everyone. Head back and get some rest. We'll meet here. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Like Empire will close for the rest of the chapter the new channel fire and away. Got it. Oh, you can't just throw that on me already. You can't do that to me. Okay, Got I do have other secret powers I should know about. <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? <laughs> the devs forgot about that ability, too! Okay, but, okay, I have to agree to disagree. I think that the Traveler will either purify or reignite the Eternal Fire in a way. But he's not going to become a god. They won't do that. That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? Abyssal power still exists within her body. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. 
uh, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and... Hello? Tra Shut up, Paimon. If Atea still dies, I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna hurt someone. Behold! Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. But looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh... Just going to get some air. It's you have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and they're... All right! This, this is so sad. She's dying. Mulalani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot Very springs. Very bittersweet, yes. <laughs> uh, it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, a traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. <sighs> I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was... It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs, <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't oh. want it to be true. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> you want to know something? Recovery, death... To me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But Death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there, it made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. Damn. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done just remember, whether in life or death, I am 
I understand. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too... St just tell her it embodies fond... Don't worry. We'll make sure... <sighs> All right. Excuse me, what? Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. Oh. So forge ahead and don't hold back. Okay, Act 1 is complete. Days later. There's no such this thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot. Damn it. I'll do it after. Paimon feels like a whole new Paimon after those two days in the hot springs. The abyss still spending time here. The Koholosaurs are so. N oh, and Atea's snacks were so. Yelling at some kids who got caught throwing stones in the hot. Hey, you guys. Sleep well last night? Yep. This area. Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Later tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is absolutely delicious right off the grill. Hey, Lulani! Yeah? What do you need? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. And Kachina? Is she... Kachina... fell in battle. But don't worry. The team was victorious, so the Rite of Resurrection... That's a relief. The Abyss is cunning, and it was her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. Exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. All right, thanks for letting me know. Damn, Kachina died. Jeez, she sounded a little anxious there. Mulani, you said the Abyss was cut. Like, think about all those monsters that it Um, not that I'm... <laughs> At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. But through our long history of 500 years ago, the Abyss invaded Tevat. You know about that, right? That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time. But so did every other nation in Tevat. And Natlan was the worst affected of all. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years only able to be reversed little by little. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a... We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. 
almost like it knows you inside and out. Yes, and that's why we've been unable to fully eradicate it, even after all this time. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various pyro archons we've had over the years. Holy shit. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean... You must have had to sacrifice a lot to get to this point. Every battle, every mm. sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility, duty, unavoidable burden. Everyone in Natland views the war differently. But I believe we will be rid of the Abyss one day. And the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages. To think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations, it's kind of romantic. Everyone has something that drives them forward, you know? We have to. Not only for ourselves. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. The sea's not going in. Here we go. Oh, there's another ad. What the fuck, Twitch, man? Ad Astra. Thank you for com- Before we continue that, I am gonna go grab some stuff. Quit following me. This realm- Nice, level seven. If you ever behold, um, get him. The one before. Ah. Nothing I need, okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Following me. To the stadium. Oh, and she's the only one who fell. That sucks. Oh, this place is packed already. Of course. No one's gonna miss out on the chance to welcome our heroes back from battle. <laughs> it's their moment of glory. Kachina's gonna be so flustered. She's never had this many eyes on her before. Yeah, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who likes being the center. Looks like I'm just in time. Kanit, you're here! Yeah, a commission ran longer than expected, but I made it. I heard about the incident with your tribe, Mualani. Is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Our new friend here's got some tricks up his sleeve, by the way. He's just as strong as Kachina made him out to be. Hey, look! Is it about to start? 
That's right. Someone will come out and recite a eulogy, and then we'll sing the Ode of Resurrection together. Come on, let's find a spot with a good view. When the singing starts, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Let's go somewhere higher up so Kachina can spot us. Warriors of Netland, heed the call of life. We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Netland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. Oh, are they gonna actually sing something this time? Okay, it's really good, but the mouths are not exactly... What's happening? Did my game freeze? Oh, I had to click OK. <laughs> I could not find Kachina within the Night Kingdom, or locate her ancient name. What? Uh, what does that even mean? Usually once the Ode is complete, the Pyro Archon and Resurrected Person will emerge from the flames. But something went wrong. What's going on? This has never happened before. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Clearly, the team sent to fight the Abyss didn't win after all. Think about it. The Ode rekindles all victors. We've witnessed it countless times. Since the Archon couldn't find Kachina in the Night Kingdom, that must mean there's more to this oh, victory these idiots. than meets the eye. Hey! You just haven't gotten over the fact that Kachina beat you in the pilgrimage! Pathetic. The both of you. Your wild guesses are misplaced. We completed our mission. Maybe you did. But who's to say whether that little girl even contributed at all? Why would the Wyab recognize someone like her, even if she was on the winning team? How dare you insult a hero of Natland like that! Kachina sacrificed herself to repel the Abyss! She doesn't deserve to be subjected to your vile rumors when she's not even here to defend herself! Calm down, Mulani. There's no point- I can't just sit here and let them slander her like that! To insult a hero of Natland, the person actually- You. You! Think about it, everyone. Who do you think is really at fault here? A girl who never should have even gone to war? Or the great Pyro Archon? Why would the rules of our nation suddenly stop working? <laughs> That's true. If she wasn't revived, it must mean she failed to achieve victory. Maybe the Wyab interpret victory in different ways? I mean, that girl didn't look all that strong to me. Kachina wouldn't have run! That's not like her at all! No, she's been waiting for no matter how daunting the situation, Wait, no matter I'm how so scared confused. she might feel, she's all- We don't even know what happened. So don't you dare try to use this as an excuse to venture- Fine. We'll find out what- That's enough. There is no doubt about today's victory, or Kachina's part in it. 
She is a hero worthy of our admiration and celebration. However, the failure of today's ceremony is undeniable. Kachina has not been rekindled, and I offer you all my deepest apologies as I continue to investigate this matter. To prevent further casualties, I have decided to suspend the pilgrimage until this matter is resolved. What? No one is all-knowing. No one is infallible, not even myself. But doubt is a means by which we seek the truth, not a weapon we wield against others. I, I, I... If there are things you wish to clarify, then ask me directly. Doubt my answer if you wish. But now's your chance. You have concerns? State them. No, of, of course not. Even though I have said nothing to change your mind, then it would seem the truth never mattered to you at all. That guy doesn't even have the courage to answer the Pyro Archon's question. So much for all that glory talk earlier. I have a question, Archon. My friend Kachina. Do you know you said you were investigating the situation, but I'm sorry. I've already shared everything I know. If you want to learn the truth, so. Well, of course I'll join. In that case, come see me in the speaker's chamber. We should join them. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, could you drop by as well, Traveler? Yeah! <laughs> we're recognized! Rest assured, everyone, I'll keep the tribal chiefs informed. Once again, I apologize for the outcome of this ceremony. If there um, did she just... I believe she did. Let's go. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Mm. Alright. <laughs> I had to use the bathroom. I'm gonna run a quick ad break, and I will be right back. Oh, hang on, it's a cutscene. The situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly right, a hero back. of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this happened to her. Cuddles. All right, I am back. There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? That's correct. Not until the problem with the Night Kingdom is resolved. How long will that take? It's hard to say. Kachina always dreamed of fighting the Abyss. Of doing her part to defend Natlan. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew, if it came down to it, the Pyro Archon would be there to bring her back to life. Whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training, she would always hum the Ode of Resurrection. 
She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. We supported her every step of the way, but what are we supposed to do now? Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends or her murderers? That's not fair, Lulani. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could. But please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. You mean... The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against the Abyss. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs oh, will shit. only be the first of many. So, the Abyss has found a way to, like, do something, I guess. If we compare the two choices... The former seems to be the lesser of two evils. Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. The raw truth can be cruel. But we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. But what would you say, Mualani? This is personal for you. And unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who suffered. Hmm. You're saying it doesn't- Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. It's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either way, there will be people who suffer, and the end result will be the same. Belief once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the Abyss wants. Their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the Ode of Resurrection work. It's to destroy the people's faith in them, to prevent what happened to Kachina from happening to anyone else. We need to suspend the pilgrimage. So that is my current plan. And in the meantime, then... I've made efforts to strengthen each tribe's defenses. Then, we have to find another way of strengthening the Sacred Flame to keep the Abyss at bay. This won't be easy. I'll need time to figure out the best approach. I understand your anger, Mualani. But I hope that provided some clarity, at least. Wow. Haima thought things were gonna get heated for a second. But the Pyro Arc. I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. You're right. We need to focus on finding solutions. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the Sacred Flame. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, Pilgrimage rankings lose their prestige, and competitor numbers will drop. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease, and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. So, essentially, the Abyss is taking Kachina hostage. You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? The Night Kingdom is something similar. Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with your sense of self will be devoured until eventually you become one with the sea of souls. Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. Oh, that's, that's I won't sugarcoat it. Terrifying. That is the danger Kachina That is absolutely is fucking facing. terrifying. Holy shit. Just like you said, Archon. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. 
The abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very po- Kachin is waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign. But I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Um, Traveler? What do you think? Understood. Then I'll support you in any way I can. The Masters of the Nightwind have a technique that can extract an ancient name from the ley lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. But is it the Night Kingdom? Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. However, know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you, and the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. So, uh... Seat Lolly of the Masters of the Nightwind once created an artifact that can be used to communicate with the Wyab. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs. Okay. But that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. Okay. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. Didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Your thanks are unnecessary. I, besides, you're the ones helping me. I can only focus on what... Uh, traveler, I certainly didn't expect our first conversation to be so serious. I've heard all about your accomplishments. Ever since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer you Natlin's highest level of hospitality. Um, why? Why? Is that not what happened in the other nations you visited? N no, we were, like, arrested a couple of times. You know, how to sneak into another nation. We were war criminals. Ah! Uh... <laughs> yeah, things were pretty complicated. <laughs> That's more like it. After all, perhaps even more than you can imagine. But we can talk about that some other time. Ideally, this would be the perfect night for a drink and some- Oh, I almost forgot. Atea was wounded in the fight against the Abyss. It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <sighs> I didn't think this day would come so soon. The flames of her life force. <laughs> if things were different, the two of us could have enjoyed the hot springs together while she- But don't worry. This towel. You said you didn't want to jeopardize the production of contending fire. But that's not at all why you decided to suspend the pilgrimage, is it? You're right. Even now, the production of contending fire is far from sufficient. The gradual corrosion caused by the abyss has resulted in a massive shortage of pyro energy. And we're currently at the breaking point. As things stand, the pilgrimage is a lost cause. Suspending it allows us to save our strength to defend the tribes. The Abyss has brought catastrophe to Natlan, and Kachina's disappearance in the Night Kingdom is a direct consequence of that. We can't let the general public know that. No. If the public learned that Natlan's destruction was close at hand, there would be immense panic. But if I said nothing at all, they would have continued to question the integrity of Natlan's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Let's go. There's still a way for the Sacred Flame to last a little longer. You mean? Yes. Come with me. What do you mean? The sacred flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland's stability. So until our heroes are ready, I will sacrifice my power. But that can only last so long. I think we should focus on the room. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. It is for them to decide how that journey ends, not us. All we can do. Even so. 
for you to make this sacrifice. It's not right. <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Finally, it a uh, god that understands that. God, it's the Fatui! The Fatui? The Archon of Natlan. A force to be reckoned with. The secret of the ley lines is no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled, what use is the Gnosis in your hands? I don't know what you mean, but it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. No! Put it back on! Put this fucking coat back on! It looks better! Is that the end of your speech? Good. People like us? Let our blades do the talking! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they're fighting. They're fighting, Chad. They're fighting! Ah! Oh my god. She heard him. <laughs> Masters of the Night Wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. That was sick! Nobody clipped me barking at Capitano. I fucking swear to God, chat. Are you alright, Archon? He was a formidable opponent. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought Piero was first, not him. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Saritza sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Yeah, and how much does he know about Natlan? 
The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. But I'm sure the Captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again, and we're not prepared, we're done for. No. We're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the masters of the Nightwind. In other words, there are traitors among us. Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. When we exchanged final blows, I sensed an unusual presence within him. I'll need to investigate further. Kanich, go to the Masters of the Nightwind and look into who could have aided the Captain. Speak to Seat Lali. She should know. Of course. I'll head out right now. Do you still intend to- Yes. But fear not. Natland's strength has never rested solely in its Archon. Together we foresaw the only path that leads to our nation's future. We must trust in that vision now. Is everything okay, Archon? Ah, uh, completely fine. Just lamenting the fact that I never got a picture when I could still turn my hair into flames. <laughs> ah, too late now. So does that mean she got rid of the, the Gnosis? Like, it's gone? I just hope the others have a safe journey. Uh, emotionally virgin. Thank you for the follow. I did not see that until now. What's happening at the stadium? Did something explode? It feels like the Archon unleashed her power. Should we go back and check? Have faith in the Archon. Once we find Kachina's ancient name, we'll head right back. Okay, let's just keep... Swan Fury! He's helping us, chat. So lost. Mm. 
I'm dumb. Opening box of Adepti Drex. Wheel of Life. Yeah! Rise. Time to shine! Strike a pop! The wind rises. Nice. I had to use the bathroom. I totally forgot to do that, so I'll be right back. You think sure. I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, mm. maybe that's their problem. Hang on, I'm in the... I'll treat your wounds. So, I need a decent team for a bit. What can you tell us about the scions of the canopy? The tribe's people are very adventurous. Oh, kind of like us then. <laughs> I'm not so sure. You don't strike me as the type to enjoy danger. The scions of the canopy are a bunch of thrill seekers. They love extreme sports like rock climbing, propelling, volcano parkour. Or even bungee jumping without a rope while a Yungasaur stands at the edge and uses its tongue to catch them. 
Sound like something you'd be interested in? Okay, that does sound different from our usual adventures. Paimon's not doing any of that. She can just cheer you on from the sidelines. Not sure where the Zoculi is, but I'm gonna grab it. gonna take a while. The wind rises. not up here and I'm so mad. <sighs> oh, it was under me the whole time. I'm mad at myself, chat. What is that? Huh. Too slow. Oh, so that's where the ring is from. Okay. Yeah. Quit following me. So Baiju's passive talent is that when you collect certain oh, things in the overworld, it just heals you. Which is pretty cool, but anyways, we got the thing I'm leaving now. <laughs> I got too distracted. Swan Fury. That's Waina, the tribal chief. Let's head over to her. Wait. I have a French viewer. What is up? How is France? Chaska. Nice to see you again, Wyna. I'm afraid we don't have time for pleasantries, so I'll get right to it. Whoa, hold on a second. My friend Kachina is trapped within the Night Kingdom. We need In the France, stone to find yeah. her ancient name. Rescue her from the Night Kingdom. That's right. I'm sorry, but someone needs to tell you the nature of battle is unpredictable. You never know. I appreciate what you're trying to say, Chief Wyna. I thought you might say that. Is something wrong, Wyna? That life isn't complete without taking risks. That's always been your mantra. 
It's nothing. If you're that determined... Far Thank you. Huh. Seems like you two go way back. But How aren't you, you from though? the Flower Feather Clan, How you Cheska? doing? Isn't it like, really late for you, though, in France? But I'm appreciative of you, about English bees. Oh, Come and check me out. Feel free to drop a ball so if you So she's famous throughout the tribes. She's always the one people call her younger sister, Queechee, always hanging around. Oh, you have a younger sister? Yes. I'll, but let's get back to business. As you probably know, your intended destination is completely different from the real world. The Night Kingdom is like a river flowing with concepts. And the ancient name you seek is like a tiny fish swimming downstream. I always ask, like to ask new people how they end up finding me, and I'm curious. So it lets me know if I'm doing something right. So let me know how you found me. In that sense, the stone is like a fishing boat drifting down the river. But the boat alone is... We couldn't do that ourselves? With a little practice, I'm sure you could. You have the strength and... Who? Vichama, a legendary warrior and scout from our tribe. He's got a keen eye and a well-honed intuition. Even his ancient name means to seek. If you're fishing for a name. Vichama? Well, he's one of Auntie Atea's hot spring buddies. I've heard stories about him. Where can we find him? Ever since Malco passed, he spends most of his time gazing out at the scenery from the cliff top. Thank you. <sighs> Good luck. I hope. Following me. Music disc. There he is. Addy K, you just play Genshin. I love Genshin, so I find you. Hey, Someone that's fair. I love Genshin too. What's your AR? What's oh, your main? Oh my god. Hello there. Are I you love his goggles. That's me. Did you need something? I was not expecting that deep of a voice from him. What the actual fuck? That's me. Did you need something? Bro! What? You're saying you can bring someone back? No, if you really think about it. Are you okay? Mm hmm. Everything's fine. After I help you find Kachina's ink. Your friend? Oh. Yes. But I'd rather. That's not a problem. We agree to your request. Yeah. I'm here for Since you're helping really us find Kachina's name. ancient cool, name. Cool, cool. It's only so, right that we return the favor. Are you. How long have you played? I've been playing since 2020, so. <laughs> Can I have a look at the stone? From what I can tell, it functions almost like an abyssal pylon. Both connect the Night Kingdom to the living world. Like one year, I think. Damn, damn. Once the connection is established, the abyss will come surging through the opening like a predator honing in on the scent of blood. So we have to be sure not to use it in a tribal settlement. Wow, you got all that just from looking at it? I just picked up on the basics, really. I still have no idea why. I'll go find an open area and start setting things. We'll go right away. First, I'll need some hook ropes. Pretty much every store around here carries them, so no need to go anywhere special. Wait, are you saying you're going to use a real net to catch Kachina's ancient net? By creating something tangible in our world, like a net, we can create a connection to a corresponding concept in the Night Kingdom. Basically, I'm going to use the concept of a net to catch something equally intangible. An ancient name. Oh, I see. What about the second thing you needed? Right. I need one... No, two chunks of obsidian. Once we bring the ancient names into our world, we'll need a place to store them. Normally, you can only get obsidian from the Children of Echoes. But I heard there's a traveling merchant from that tribe around here somewhere, so... Oh, uh, yeah, I've been playing since 2020, there. although I took a break until, like, late in 2021 because I didn't have a computer to play it on. And then I've been playing pretty much consistently ever since. Gotcha! All right, let's split up. See that clearing? Let's meet over there when you... Oh, and you can send someone with me if you want. 
In case you're worried, I might take the stone for myself. Mm, what do you think, Chaska? <laughs> There's no need. <sighs> I appreciate it. Even though that doesn't mean much to me anymore. Anyway, it'll take some time to set everything up, so... Ah! Thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. There is an incoming ad break, so what I will see you guys in a little bit. He seems so defeated, but also really invested in the stone at the same time. I don't have any more insight than you, Paimon. Hang on, Kachina. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What? <laughs> oh, I don't want Look to. Into what? 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 <laughs> Look at a boss. <laughs> Hello. Do you have any hook ropes? As in rock climbing equipment? Yes. How much for? Oh, the whole thing? Deal. Wait. What, you want me to drive down the price? Oh, uh, no problem at all. I'll even pass along some information on the house. All right. Now we need the obsidian. Let's go talk to the traveling merchant. Oh, I already talked to you, but he wasn't available, Lamau. Excuse me, do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got... Perfect. Is... Hmm. That might be... Thank you so much. <sighs> Relax. Everything's going according to plan. I know, it's just... I could tell Vichama feels the same way about his friend that I do about Kachina. Kachina always carries all sorts of sh- Well, would you look at that! I did bring an extra. <laughs> Here you go, young lady. How does it look? Oh, that's perfect. perfect. Thank you. If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just... Here you go. How's he doing? Do you know what happened between... I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking when... Melko was an amazing fighter, capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit, while Vichama excelled at scouting and analyzing the battlefield. The two made an excellent team and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Oh, damn. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant in the pulpit on the eve of battle. The Abyss launched an... Then what happened? The team agreed that he couldn't... Be Chama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make... It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of... Vichama went into a deep depression. Oh, you're not wrong. I've tried convincing him the abyss has caused so much suffering. Anyway, the Damn, okay, old man. I love this. Quick Bye. Time. Did you get everything? I still can't get over his voice yep, actor. Yep, it's all here. When do we start? I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. As agreed, I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name, and then you return the fate. Go ahead. Uh, after Malco fell, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. If I had been there, I would have always blamed myself for what happened. But that happened. The Pyro Archon said all- There might not be much hope, but I still have to try. Malco and I promised each other. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina.
Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the Night Kingdom. Look at that golden thing. It must be one of those fragments Bichama mentioned. Let's get closer. Like an emergency. Squall and fury. Search for it. How much longer, Bichama? Not long. We're getting close. Quick, take it! I found Kachina's ancient name. Hang in there, Malko. Just a little longer. Something's not right. The power... The abyss is corroding his body. I should have died five years. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. Thank you. Oh, not a quick time event. <laughs> Whoa, watch out. The power of the abyss is strong. <sighs> this power hanging in there? Malco. No, what? We can't wait any longer. Pull him away from the stone, Luolani. I already tried, but the power of the abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. In that case, we have no choice. And get back! Chaska, wait! Ouch! What happened just now? The stone's power was spiraling out of control. We were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion. Give us a heads up next time, will you? You're lucky. I thought I said to get back. Yeah, barely a second before you made it go poof. Not everyone has your reflexes, Chaska. We were this close. Okay. I'll be more careful next time. At least Kachina's ancient name is still in one piece. Bichama! Uh, Bichama! I couldn't find Malko's ancient name. If once your ancient name disappears, there's... And now... <laughs> Bichama. I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over... Huh? What's that? Uh huh? Uh, this is... Hey... Well, not enough to swing a sword, but to... <laughs> I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. Guess I have something to be thankful for then. Mm. Pisak! had to beat me at everything, didn't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe no one will get to hear Pichama. Don't be sad. Just keep on living. For the both of us. That's so <gasps> sad. No! Was that a memory? Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Of course. See, but it also brings with it an even deeper pain. A deeper pain? Why? 
Malco was always the type to put on a brave face. But in that memory just now, for all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end. And now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Pichama! I'm fine. Actually, I heard Chief Wina wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. When you asked for my help, I hesitated too. But I also once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most. If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Mal that way. Even if the outcome stayed the same, there are critical junctures in life. And if you don't, that's something I had to learn in hindsight. But Thank you, Vichama. I promised I would find her. That's good to hear. Once abyssal corrosion enters the body, a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the Traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion... Thanks to him, though, you are only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions... Sh Just speaking from experience, that's all. Anyway... Oh, she might be too. Mean, so we're off to a great start. Oh, um, and apologize for just. <sighs> Koichi, are you really gonna just stand? I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say, Uncle Wina. I can hear it in your voice. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. Huh? <sighs> They're back. Kuichi? What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't play dumb with your own... My apologies, everyone. <sighs> I'll be just a moment. Who is that? Kuichi. Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood, it's not really my story to tell, but... I guess it's not a secret. She was afflicted with a rare disease when she was a child and abandoned in the wild as a result. That strength of will pushed her to survive. Damn. But it also planted a seed of conflict with... For some reason, I'm a... <laughs> well, when Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Quichi's parents who adopted her. At the time... Ah, uh, I remember those days. One of the eventually she found a way to rein in that desire to fight. It sounds like she still argues with Kui. <sighs> That's partly my fault. Kuichi. Oh, I get it. No one. I'm all for your adventure. You need to take risks when you're young, because by the time you're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that. Still, I can understand where Kuichi's coming from. In the end, nobody wants to sit. All right, it's just the two of us. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. <laughs> well, technically I am going abroad, right? Again with the excuses! <sighs> we agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire, there's absolutely no alternative. But a trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level four, I don't know what is. And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything. What do you mean, sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. Bought off Uncle Wina, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. <gasps> you feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done? Not even by force. Oh, I knew it! So he did try to say... This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that? I'm a doctor and I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my... All right, whatever. Anything... Oh, you... What? Time out. Is this one of our normal arguments or a serious one? Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Then... You need to know something. 
But the person you become when you lose control, that's... That's a different issue. You said it yourself. A person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in that land, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. <sighs> All right, let's stop this here. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. Uh, Koichi! Uh, uh, so, you're really going to go, no matter what I say? Then support me. Uh, so, that's it. Damn, they just had a whole argument. Uh, you two are something else. Something you wanted to say? I know you aren't related by blood. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago. It's not my place to get involved, but I will say this. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If according to Kinich, it's an... Um... <sighs> if only Tone get fired with... It might be in a few more pieces than you remember. Uh huh? I see. Still, seat lollies. Stay safe out there in the night kingdom, okay? Remember, health comes first. Scatter! Whoever decided to make Light him spin, bear. you have a terrible yeah. rest of your evening. Yeah. I hate that. We go. We're back! We found Kachina's ancient name, too! Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the. The Fatui again? We can't go anywhere with. But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they? <laughs> That's why it has to be our little secret. No. Look, I wish I could offer you some sort of consolation, but I won't lie to you still. 
All you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. <laughs> There's no need to be so modest, Eon-san. Archon, I... I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. What is this place? Hey, isn't that Atea's talisman? <laughs> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos I've collected. Wow. I've never... It looks like there are items from every tribe. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. And physical items do a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> now... I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony, if you're curious about an item. Alright, we'll have a look! Okay. Whoa, that belt is bigger than Paimon's head! The Collective of Plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions and contests. The association with strength might also have been the reason the... And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, wearing... Sounds like... So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned a crap... He would often wear this version when training. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the... Hey, there's a fishing rod here! That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman. He and I met in a tavern. He t In his eyes, I saw a hunger. So, did he do it? The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. It turned out he managed to kill the fish, but can a fisherman claim victory? If he fails to... Well, Paimon th That was my answer as well. In the end, he didn't want... Wait, that means you... <laughs> Maybe we can go head to head sometime. I genuinely love the Pyro Archon. Because, like, she has such a deeper personality. There are so many jars. Of no, those belong to the masters of the. Yamaya is an expert in the. The tools you see here are quite traditional. The contents of the jars aren't all that special. Ooh, must be something. Grape juice. <laughs> it's quite tasty, although prob <laughs> Whoa, this wep Ah, that weapon belonged to Tainoch. A hero from 500... That's because even before the disaster with the Abyss broke out... Exile? It was a punishment, imposed out of necessity. When the Abyss attacked, the tribes found them... He united the six tribes and accomplished great feats throughout the war. Ultimately, he perished. And because he had already lost his ancient name, the Ode of Resur... And so, he was laid to rest. Wow. <laughs> Indeed. Even now, his story... Look at, look at that photo. I still haven't, uh... Talisman. This is a tape- I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. The powder still needs some time to settle. Well... Yeah! If each item re- Does every item hold a special- That's right. The items in my collection actually they demonstrate the true sh the shape of most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. We cannot change the past or predict the future. Right. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth, namely that the past, present, and future all exist at once. 
Uh. At once? Paimon's not sure she understands. Uh, <laughs> let's say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? Exactly. Even at the end of your journey, the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. They become part of who you are. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different decisions. And eventually, the future is the same way. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee... I... That... Humanity excels at living in the present. But too often, we forget the past and neglect the future, while the pilgrimage and the Night Warden Wars lead us to a better future. Only by uniting the people of Natlan across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss. To come up with such a set of rules, the first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. That's correct. At first, he was a mortal man with no special power, after he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the Heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. And the Heavens are called Ranova. Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. By holding the pilgrimage, we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends, in addition, the Sacred Flame will grant them significant knowledge. So, it all comes down to the power of the Divine... Wait, is that a family portrait? <laughs> yes. That's my mother, father, younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. Your sister is so cute! Kima was having a hard time thinking of... It really doesn't look like there was anything special. A little late for that question, don't you think? Sorry! Paimon's so sorry! <laughs> No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking and we would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians we were raising ran into the room and knocked over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. I still remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. <laughs> it was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. Isn't that what being a family is all- As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation. And experiences like that, they were- Well, what happened after that? This portrait- I believe she ended up working as an architect and artist. Anyway, that's enough about me. Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. Fiber V in the center of it, but okay. We're gonna find Kachina. <clears throat> Surely, as the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. Ancient name, take us to your fated bearer. Kachina, are you okay? Huh? Uh, I'm not seeing things, Senpai. It's okay, Kachina. It's just... Everyone, you have to listen to me. I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time, and I figured out what's wrong. The Wyab is being affected by the Abyss. I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back, but then this really strong monster came in and almost killed me. The Wyab saved me. Even though its power is weakening, 
to open up the Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds and seeing really horrible things. Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity. All you need to do is stay safe. It's okay. I feel so much better now that I've had the chance to talk to you guys. Oh. You don't need to worry about me. I've never been strong or special at all, really. So I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind. <laughs> Just knowing you guys will find a way back. You're always like this, Kachina. I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feed. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars. A hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait. Fine. Still, I don't want... All you need to do is place your trust. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close. Be careful. Be careful. Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You have to traverse the Night Kingdom in your physical form. This entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion, even a- I know. All right, then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case she's very experienced in dealing with that face you just made. Don't tell me- No, I just- I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people- Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. Eonsan, I know it's unlikely, but- That won't happen. I hope not. Right. Too slow. Quit following me. All right. I need to use the bathroom again, and there's an ad, so I'll be right back. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather RC pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. I'm back. Yo, Natlin's background is sick. Um, okay. I want a probably decently powerful team. There you kind of you're not. Um Perhaps we could take a walk by a riverbank or somewhere similarly fluvial. It's not the best team, but it'll work. Following me.
So we're underneath Natlin? That's because in the distant past, Natlin was home to an incredibly advanced civilization ruled by dragons. Humans only established their own society after the fall of the dragons. So these are Saurian ruins? Wait, you mean like the Elemental Sovereigns? Yes, a really long time ago. Very few records have survived until now, so no one really knows what the devices here are for. These ruins have been abandoned for a long time, but with the recent increase in Abyss activity, the installations around here have somehow been activated again. So what you're saying is... We're not it. <laughs> no. It's going to be obstacle after obstacle from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. Um, why are you all... It's the pre-adventure excitement kicking in. Right, guys? Of course. I'm eager to get started. Then let's go. We won't let anything stand in our way. The wind rises. Seems like the road ends here. How should we get across? As a professional trainer, I think you could stand to build up your endurance, Paimon. Professional trainer? Paimon thought you were a warrior from the Collective of Plenty. Well, that goes without saying. But I actually work as a sports coach. I provide professional guidance for many of Natland's Ow. popular sports. And I don't just mean physical training. I design nutrition plans as well. Ah, so basically no sugar, no soft drinks, no grilled meat. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here all day if you list them out one by one. It's much faster to just focus on what's good for you. Such as? Vegetable juice. Mmm. Want some? You know, ian Sung, my mom feels like the two of us might not see eye to eye. Am I missing something, chat? I am. I am stupid. I didn't know that you could do that. Familiar? We fought them before. Let's go. Show no mercy. Seems really high up. <laughs> Overruled. Be sanctified. Taking a turn for the better. A bitter pill to swallow. Wasn't there a chest? Did I miss something? This is where you are. 
This is the final stretch. We just need to climb up, and we'll be there. Nothing to it. Easy for you to say. <laughs> this is... This is... I just love... Oh my god. This must be the entrance the Pyro Archon told me. Yes. There's something in the depths of this place that... We actually have to go in there? Okay, Paimon just needs to psych herself. Here we go. Into the Night Kingdom. Hey! You don't have to drag Paimon! You're pulling too hard! Looks like we made it. This is the Night Kingdom. Oh, it looks so different. That overflow of energy is probably what trapped Kachina here in the first place. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Paimon's more worried about how we're gonna make- Do you see that patch of light on the ground? It's shining down from that fissure in the sky. Oh yeah, right in front of us. So that's coming from up there? Just like I said, our real world knowledge doesn't apply here. We fell all this way, yet came out completely unscathed. If this was the real world, we'd have to climb our way back up to the entrance. But here, all we have to do is stand underneath the light and offer a prayer. Nice. Th that's it? Right, right. We so that means all we need to do is find Kachina. Exactly. This light is streaming in from the... Hmm. The terrain looks difficult to navigate. And yeah, these floating... Those are all manifestations of abyssal power. Be careful. Ghost! A talking ghost! Calm down. I'm here to help. You're the ones who helped Vichama. Yes, I'm Vichama's friend, Malco. I was completely lost to this realm until I sensed a mysterious power calling out to me. It's like it was seeking Hello, me out, the, attempping to uh, reassemble the pieces of who I used to be. How are you doing? Of course, it could only do so much. I'm sorry, I can only appear before you in this imperfect form. No, we should be the ones apologizing. If the Spirit Speaker Stone hadn't become corrupted by the Abyss, we could have done much more. But we had to destroy it. Otherwise, Vichama and his tribe would have been in danger. Of course. Thank you for protecting him. I mean, if under the power of the stone, it felt like our souls were connected. Turns out even our regrets were exactly the same. Whether in triumph or death. Exactly. That may not be an- You're looking for a young girl from the Children of Echoes, right? I'd like to help her while I'm still in this form. Be careful. This place has been severely corroded by the Abyss. Paimon didn't realize it had gotten this bad. It's like a seething volcano ready to engulf our world at any moment. Ouch! Quick, get back here. You can't go on. Stick close to me. My power what the will actual fuck? For the time being. Pill to swallow. We won't be able to keep this up. Let's try another route. This way. More 
monsters. We shouldn't waste our time on them. Easy peasy. It's easy to get lost here. Just stick close. Did you hear that? What? Never mind. It was probably just my imagination. Don't scare Paimon like that! I heard it too. It was a voice from the abyss. Ah! What did it say? It doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't harbor good intentions. Oh no, I want to know what it said, bitch. I guess flashing lights warning. We're here, Kachina. No, oh, honey. Looks like our reunion will have to wait until we take care of these monsters. Good idea. Let's go. As the moon, a bitter pill to swap. Overruled. You're here. You're finally here. How you doing, optimistic cat? Hope you're having so a good much. afternoon, evening, or morning. That monster can appear from anywhere. It almost caught me a bunch of times. The Yab's power helped keep me hidden, so I just had a girl. You did so well. And most importantly, you weren't hurt. Should we start heading back then? Actually, I have a request. Will you come visit the Wyab with me? I can't exactly put it into words, but something's wrong with the Ode of Resurrection. And I know it has something to do with the contamination from the Abyss. That was the Pyro Archon's theory as well. Everything we've seen here certainly seems to back it up. In the Night Kingdom, there are six main totem poles representing the Wyab of each tribe. You can think of them like the body of each Wyab. Additional totem poles, like the there are countless proxies scattered around the Night Kingdom. Through them, the Wyab can extend their consciousness over the entire realm and track down souls no matter where they roam. Oh. But if a proxy were to become severely contaminated... Judging by the current situation, I don't think we're dealing with just one contaminated proxy. Even if we could still... We can't just leave the Y up to... S I agree. We might even manage to draw out the monster that's been hunting... Get getting rid of the monster might slow down the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> Kachina? What's wrong? N nothing. Just a... Maybe we really should leave. No, I... I'm fine. Just up ahead. I'll leave. Listen to me, Kachina. We'll come with you. You don't have anything to prove I- All right. The sooner we get this done- We've already come all this way. So we might- Let's go. This- I'll stay here and try to stall the Abyss Monster. All by yourself? That- It's all right. I may not be as- I don't have much time left. 
So go. Thank you for your truth. <laughs> Does your head still hurt? Let me help you walk. I'm fine, I'm fine. You should know I'm made of stronger stuff than that. Swan Fury. <sighs> Quit following me. I wonder if we have to go around Behold. purifying all of them eventually. Right. The contamination is already too All right, get ready, everyone. Time to purge the abyssal energy from this place. Careful. We've got company. Already? You really think that puny soul could slow me down? Courage in the face of futility is pure folly. He tried to get in my way, so I disposed of him. What happened to Angel? You, you killed Malcolm? He would have dispersed with or without me. You may have defeated others of my kind in the past, but underestimate me now. No. The power of the abyss is intoxicating. The destruction it seeks captivates like a masterful work of art. I strive only for the opportunity to see it up close. I thought this naive little girl was an exception, but it turns out humanity is full of lambs willing to offer. That is the tragedy of your short ancient names, pride, friendship, all empty. I the Pyro Archon created those grandiose ideals out of pure selfishness. Anything to avoid sharing power. Anything to avoid handing over the primordial gift to ordinary people like you. Don't believe me? Then ask yourself, why is the Pyro Archon strong beyond measure, while you, Kachina, remain so pathetically weak? What the fuck, man? Kachina, give me your hand. Feel that? Thanks, Moamani. Because I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> You're right. Make like you also couldn't be more wrong. You've what? The courage we have to stand before you and not back down. The power lies not in the ideal, but in our commitment to upholding that I. Well said. Let's go, Kachina. It shouldn't take more than two of us to handle an enemy like this. Sorry in advance, but you. There aren't many in Natland who can beat us when we're together. Peasy. Oh, we, won. Oh, we actually won. That's what he gets for underestimating you two. Fantastic work, Kachina. Absolutely fantastic. This makes me so unbelievable. I'm happy too, Moalani. Together we really are unstoppable. <laughs> huh? <sighs> My ancient name is Glowing? It's probably a projection from the real world. Wait, does that mean you're... That was a bold move. 
Diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend, especially in a place so overrun with abyssal corruption. Still, seeing you pull it off <laughs> was really something. Who the fuck are you? Everything you said was exactly right. As it took years worth of scars and lots of unnecessary suffering for me to understand that for myself. The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us as one. Everyone has a part to play. Only then will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes. Who are you? Tupac, a warrior from the people of the Springs. I fought against the Abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. I've heard that name before. You were the giant who saved all of Natlan. Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyob. Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and say... M me? As long as blood still runs through, its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. That's what happened. What do you mean? Did you- 500 years ago, they foresaw the very crisis we're facing now. Efforts to save Natlan started- We can go over the details once we get back. We should- I know bits and pieces, but I had no idea Mualani was also part of the plan. This sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Okay, that's... I hear your voice, Kachina, my dear child. So why don't we all just go to each Great. one to fix it? Well then, I was going to ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me. I'll keep searching within myself. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. Huh? You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. Focus on who you want to be. You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The story of your ancient name is for you to continue. Just like your parents, my love for you... <sighs> it gladdens me to see the Pyro Archon's plan move another step towards completion. But it is time for you to leave this place. Go now, my children. I know we've never met before, Wyob, but I just wanted to say... Thank you for encouraging Kachina. It was a... Whoa! What's going on? An earthquake? We're out of time. It's the power of the abyss. Quick. Oh, not this bullshit again. Why is it's there a Sealy? The Sealy opened the way for us!
Through the middle. Oh no! Oh shit! We're stuck? You've done well. Now come home. The fuck? Huh? We're back. The Pyro Archon saved us. But She's not here. Yeah, didn't she say she used it all up? She's still in the speaker's chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. So you're saying her con Every great display of power comes at a price. <coughs> you must feel terrible, Kachina. Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for us. I recommend getting a full checkup. Just to make sure no damage gets left behind. Hi, Mom feels okay. What about you, Traveler? Right. You always seem to do pretty well. Let's get going. We need to share what we learned in- Right. The Wyatt mentioned- I'll let her explain everything. We're all a part of the plan now. Every move we make from here on out will decide Natlin's ultimate fate. Is something else. I really thought they were gonna get stuck there. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot hey, blow off. Hey, forever. Artie, are you here? Following me. Quit following me. Huh. There's a lot less stuff here than before. It's good to see you all here in one piece. I know you must have a lot of questions, but let Koichi check you over first. It's best not to let any lingering effects of the abyss go untreated. Thank goodness you made it back. I came here as soon as the Pyro Archon told me about your plan. Take a seat, everybody. I'll examine you one by one. Yay, they're all contaminated. All right, that should do it for now. But just to be- I have to say, though, I've never seen anyone react to the Abyss like you, Traveler. It's like- you're completely immune to its power. He always has been special like that. He can even purify its power. Wait, now that you mention it, Paimon doesn't think she's affected either. Given the current situation, that ability will likely play a great role in the events to come. Of course. I still have patience to see, so I'll head out. Thank you, Koichi. All right, all right. We just give it time. Yeah. 
All right. There's so much to discuss, I don't even know where to begin. You've seen it for yourselves now. The devastation in the Night Kingdom. I'll get straight to the point. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Huh? No. That, that can't be true, can it? That's right. But I've only ever disclosed that fact to the handful of people working with me to save this nation. Our looming destruction is not a recent development, but the inevitable conclusion of the disaster the Abyss initiated 500 years ago. You would think in 500 years they might have done something to fix the problem, Mulani but... Mulani told us a little bit about that. 500 years ago, all the nations of Tibet yeah. were invaded by the Abyss. Unlike the other nations, Natlan never had stable and deep-rooted ley lines, so we suffered the worst of the invasion. The battle against the Abyss was exceedingly long and brutal. In the end, victory came at the cost of our civilization and countless lives. Even then, it took centuries of solving the disasters caused by the Abyss to finally achieve the peace we know today. And still, this is but a superficial victory. The forces of the Abyss have merely been driven back underground. Their threat to Natlan remains as real as ever. I... I'd never have guessed. The problems plaguing the Night Kingdom are all the more complicated because that realm is essentially functioning as Natlan's ley lines. Immediately after the war, our calculations estimated that we would have a maximum of 500 years before the Night... But at that time... We were a nation of the destitute. Our people no longer believed in victory, nor did they hold hope for the future. Our civilization was dying, our faith crumbling, and the line of power passed down from the Wyab nearly severed. If we didn't bring the nation back together, it would be foolish to even dream of defeating the Abyss in the future. So, the Archon had a long and involved discussion with the heroes of each tribe, and finally came up with a 500-year-long plan to save Natlan. So that's what happened. After finding Kachina, I encountered a strange figure who gave me a series of new memories. Since the plan was mentioned in those memories... But there's still something I don't understand. Those memories showed me the Pyro Archon from back then. And it was you. Huh? But that doesn't make any sense! The Pyro Archon is supposed to be human. It's impossible for a human to live that long. That's right. The hardest thing for humans to overcome has always been time. Or rather, the natural limitations of our lifespan. A god can extend a human's life by using a certain amount of divine power. Or yes. subjecting them to a curse. Like Farina. But, as we all know, Natlan doesn't have gods like that. We can only rely on our own methods. A human life is like a flame destined to be extinguished. 500 years ago, I placed my life within the sacred flame. Only by dying before my time could I have the chance to wake up again. So, in other words, this is your second life? Yes. We only managed to defeat the Abyss what? all those years ago because the tribes came together as one. If the Natlan of the future was to have a fighting chance, the Pyro Archons that came after the war had to rebuild the decimated tribes. The goal was to reunite the people and restore the strength of each tribe's Wyab. Once a tribe was back to its full strength, the tribe's Wyab would select a hero, indicating the tribe was once again ready for war. The Chosen would then stand by my side in defense of our nation, just like great heroes of old 500 years ago. Holy shit. So that means I'm one of the Chosen? That's right. You bear the ancient name Umoja, the same one held by the hero from your tribe 500 years ago. It means unity. After your adventure in the Night Kingdom, I trust you've come to fully understand the meaning of that name. 
So in other words, you always knew who the Wyab were going to pick from each tribe? Yes. According to the plan, each tribe was supposed to have been fully restored by the time I awoke. But some the six heroes successfully inherited the ancient names from 500 years ago, but the intel regarding the plan wasn't passed on to them. Once again, it comes down to the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Communication between the Sacred Flame and the Wyab has been blocked. Just like how the Ode of Resurrection failed to bring Kachina back. Exactly. It's just another tactic the Abyss is using against us. The Abyss may not possess intelligence, but its methods certainly aren't. If we want to unblock that information from being passed on, my presence alone isn't enough. Be so, I've tried my best to help them from the sidelines. Currently, Shalonin of the Children of Echoes, Kinich of the Scions of the Canopy, and Iansan of the Collective of Plenty have all been acknowledged by their names. During your adventure, you too earned the acknowledgement of your Wyab Mualani. In the process, you gained the memories stored within your name. But we have less than a year! Yes, but we have no choice. We cannot start the plan until- That's also why I haven't been able to take action- But if you knew this whole time, why didn't you just tell me- Perhaps, but the opposite could also be true. Knowing you're just like your determination to save Kachina, I hope your commitment to this endeavor comes from your own strength of will. Rather, so I suppose you're not going to tell us who the final Hello, two heroes Ryan are. Hello, Ryan Shogun. Then. What's up? That's What's right. Up? Their time is yet to come. Putting pressure on them beforehand will only hinder their development. I can only trust in the judgment of the Wyab. I have never believed I could solve this crisis Thank alone. You so much for the follow, in fact, Seahart. it was You're precisely a because I chose Evening to trust morning. and rely on others that we managed to get this far. Natland's salvation lies not in its Archon or any singular individual, but in us all. You're quite perceptive, aren't you? <sighs> huh? Oh, right! Even though I sacrificed my power, I still needed a- After all, I was the one who allowed you to take that risk. And Mualani has an important role to play in my plan. In addition to their sentimental value, the items I stored here held a much more important purpose. Fuel. Fuel? Yes. The stories embodied by those items are certainly important. But there's an e Over time, they became imbued with a certain amount of contending fire oh, from being carried so she was in battle. Like holding all On their the... own, each item's power is limited. By burning those items, I was able to activate the con- It was a rather crude approach, so all their power was depleted in an instant, as you can see. But weren't they all- <sighs> That's exactly why I drag you all here. No matter what, I never wanted the Pyro Archon to have to use that power. Oh, I'm you have nothing to be sorry for. You all deserve my thanks, actually. If you hadn't saved the totem pole, that area of the Night Kingdom would have been forever lost to the Abyss. And then, it would only be a matter of time before the- Besides, when those heroes entrusted their belongings to me, or the Pyro Archon of their time, if they knew those items helped save the present- Even when you put it that way, I still feel bad. <laughs> There's no need. Remember what I told you about time? The people and the events of the past are never truly lost to us. We simply care if you still have regrets. Let them fuel your resolve in the battles to come. Your deeds will become new legends and nurture new forms of pa Well, we'd still like to return- <laughs> Well, if th now that Kachina has returned, we can- We could all use the rest, that's for sure. Plus, you'll be able to silence everyone who doubt- <sighs> Still, try not to let it get to you. It's a all right. You that was a lot of information. Huh? When I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natland. They attract people from all walks of life. Friends come easy here, no matter what tribe you're from. The 
people of the springs never claim the hot springs as their own private property. They are there to bring all hot spring buddies together. It's been really nice seeing the children of my tribe get older. It's helped me gradually understand the true value of the springs. I've witnessed their energy, their determination, their absolute passion for life. I wonder if each of those objects held a part of the sacred flame and that extended her life meaningfully, the Pyro Archon, whatever it extended their lives to. <sighs> Even when they cause trouble, I never managed to hold on to my anger for long. It's unbelievable how quickly they worm their way back into my good graces. I'm certain Mualani will become a great warrior when she grows up. She possesses infinite potential. I can see it. One day, when I'm no longer in fighting form, I'll come here and tell stories to all the children, just like those warriors did for me. So, you better get busy, Pyro Archon, or I'll end up running out of stories. <laughs> I'm confused on what's happening, but I will sit here and watch. Our nation is engulfed in darkness. Our tribes stand divided, and yet you promise victory in the distant future. The abyss is a cunning. My rage will never know absolution, and my power will no longer aid you in victory. But you came to me because you knew you could convince me with just a single sentence. I understand your choice. The heroes of today will forge the path ahead with blood and fire. Just remember to earn us the victory we are owed. Otherwise, rest assured, I'll find a way to collect the debt. For Natlan. So, you're gonna head 500 years in the future to serve as the Pyro Archon again? about the you from right now? You're just gonna die? You can't ask her those questions and expect her to answer, my dear. The decision is hers to make, and she deserves our support. We will do everything we can to rebuild the tribes. Don't you worry. Even across time, we will all do our part to fight for Natlan's future. believe in you sis no seriously though dad should be here where is he i i imagine he he didn't know what to say so he chose not to come at all that's so bad for her just remember no matter what happens in the future we will always love you I'll come find you one day. I know I can't live that long, but I'll think of something. Oh, there has to be a way for us to meet again one day. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'm gonna find it. So, don't forget about me. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that stings. She had to leave her whole fucking family behind. Holy shit. If that's your decision, then you have my full support, Archon. May our children live to see such a lovely son. For Natlan! No one fights alone.
The rules are my legacy. They shall grant us the strength to overcome the next tragedy. War forged the six tribes, taught us how to fight, instilled in us what it means to love. Who will be the one to bring this to an end? We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. I kind of wasn't expecting that much different of a cutscene, but... Wow. <laughs> Too slow. Chaska, but it's not that I don't want to celebrate Katina and the others. Ah, well, you two... She didn't cause any trouble. Yeah, she was super help. That's good. Is there a reason you asked? You were pretty outspoken. Uh, maybe it seemed unreasonable, picking that her impulse to fight is extremely strong. So what you're saying is... Okay, so maybe it sounds a little stupid. Anyway, I'm just glad you were... But do you really have to go that... No way. Chaska never- I appreciate the under- Oh, and if you ever need a doctor, you know who to find. Huh. Who would have thought there was a deeper reason but In the end, it's all the- Yes, I would like to go inside now. I'm sorry, the dance is- Dancing reminds me of the one Olympic break dancer. Let's give a huge round of applause to our brave young warrior, Kachina! Well done, Kachina. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad I finally made it. I always knew you could do it with so much potential. You're one to talk. Don't think I didn't know you were the first person to abandon your team. I'll be dealing with you when we get back. I had no choice. Oh, really? So you weren't just trying to get ahead in the first round? I wasn't, I swear. I just happened to find that bearer injured in the wild. So I stopped to bandage his wounds. When he insisted on repaying the favor, what was I supposed to do? I'm just one person. I think. But the fact of the matter is that after your departure, everyone else started thinking about swapping teams too. I'm really sorry, Kachina. It was wrong of us to abandon you like that. It's amazing that you still made it all so, uh... Um... Our team captain drank too much the night before the competition and turned up late to the stadium on the day. <laughs> Serves you all right. Oh, they no didn't even get to me. be there, Lomo! All right, all right. There's no... Um, dear friends, firstly, I'm grateful to my... This traveler and his companion, Paimon, are some of the strongest people I've ever- They've agreed to let me learn from- And let's not forget my good friends. Moalani, Chaska, Kanich, and Ayansan. They all helped the Traveler and Paimon figure out a way to bring me back from the Night Kingdom. They too deserve to be called our heroes. So, please give another round- Well said! I'll drink to that. <laughs> How does it feel being a hero, Kachina? To be honest, it's a bit- Well, you better get used to it! Next up, I'm the- Hey, please don't- Yo, what's up? Ah, oh, you're here. How did you know? That's my- You look like you've still got questions. Ask away. Because they had their own lives to live. The thought of telling them, abandon your families and e you could just as easily point out that everything in this world would come to an end event. Imagine if I said, 
Let's leave right now and go save the sun because it'll flame out in a few million years. I couldn't make them shoulder that burden with me. Besides, every generation will have its heroes, this one included. The Or, of course, without me. But since I was the one who came up with the plan, I felt duty-bound to see it through to the end. I'm suddenly remembering that portrait in your room. Was that your family from back then? Yes, it was. So when you ask me who my sister grew up to be, the truth is that very little information survives. From what I've been able to piece together, I can conclude with a reasonable degree of confidence that she ended up as an architect and artist. She played an instrumental role in rebuilding the scions of the Canopy tribe, designing and building many houses. But of course, um... None of her buildings are around anymore. Still, it was an impressive achievement, and I'm very proud of her. You feel lost keenly. It seems to stir up feelings of regret in you. But this is something I have long since come to terms with. This is a war, and there can be no war without loss. I am already far more fortunate than the people of Natlan look to me as their Archon, and the weight of their expectations is mine to bear. I must see our fate through to the very end, no matter what I may find there. Yeah, doesn't that mean the way I re I suppose, but so what? Don't forget time takes many forms. The past, present, and future coexist. And all are equally important. Even if the future ends in destruction, there's still no reason to give up on the here and now. And it's precisely because we humans cannot know our fate that we will never give up on our struggle. This is a pivotal moment. We are still two heroes short. Well, three, to be precise. There's one further hero who I'm hoping to get on. Your resistance to the corrupting power of the Abyss is truly oh, remarkable. Worst special chat. It would easily make you an all-important figure in the upcoming battle. If you agree to join us, you will not only gain my full support and- Ancient names can be forged? They can. Several strict conditions must be met, but if they couldn't be forged at all, then the number of them in possessing an ancient name would mean that your adventures and the Ode of Resurrection may have temporarily lost. Just like in the Night Kingdom, I will be there for you. Th yeah, we can't just think- Wonderful. Then I'll reach out to Shiloh. We've never forged an ancient name for an outlander before, but- Wait, 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 we're getting an outlander? Ancient name? What? My lord, we've received word that the Pyro Archon has lost much of her power. Oh. Although your injury complicates things, this is most certainly the opportune time to seize the Gnosis. Victory and defeat are rules, not outcomes. I have never taken advantage of an opponent in a time of weakness, and I don't intend to start now. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. <sighs> you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? Who, who is he talking to? Why did that voice sound familiar? That's it? I'm so disappointed right now. <laughs> have to wait a whole month for for an update
Sisters, are you still feeling un- No, all bet. I bet you. Oh. At previous victory feasts. It does feel weird seeing you so- <laughs> Is this another pearl of wisdom based on your adventuring experience? Well, Paimon agrees with the Traveler. Everyone's come together to celebrate Kachina's achievements. That's gotta be a first. You're right. <laughs> Kachina looks really happy. And now I'm being the moody one. Ah, oh, enough doom and gloom. Time to shake it off. us a lot. There'll be even tough that includes you. Ah! It's rare to meet travelers as anyway. Oh, we actually ran it. Yeah. The abyss has likely sensed you. Oh, um something else you'd like to ask? Well, our intel suggests he hasn't made any new movements yet. Although Kanich's investigation helped us confirm that he's being aided by someone from the Masters of the Nightwind. I'm getting closer to narrowing down who that may be, but it's still unclear whether this person aided the captain out of willingness or coercion. If you learn anything about this during your adventures, please let me know. Oh, um, something else you'd like to ask? The Abyss is the most formidable enemy in all of Tabat. In the beginning, it took failure and tragedy to even begin to learn how to fight back. All of the methods you've seen in other nations were developed based on experience and insight passed down over generations. It's the same for the method we use here in Natlan. Ever since ancient times, elemental energy has been one of our most reliable weapons against the Abyss. As for the principles behind it... I'm afraid you might have to seek answers from someone older than the position of Pyro Archon itself. Oh, um, something else you'd like? Ah, that also comes down to the long-standing effects of the Abyss. Our people's survival is inextricably tied to the Wyab, but their power has its limits. They cannot offer our people the same degree of protection outside our borders. In fact, people who do decide to leave everyone in Natlan understands this. That's why our people never leave without a good cause. Even if someone is left with no choice, the chief of their tribe must seek approval with the Wyab to grant them leave. And the Wyab have always been very strict about granting that approval, since extending protection beyond our borders means consuming power reserved for our fight against the Abyss. Still, there's no need to worry. The Wyab extend their protection to all within Natlan, including visitors from afar. Oh, um something else you we called her my lady oh it's our bedroom so 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 that's it that's the end of the archon quest for now which is a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie i was hoping there'd be like an act three but <laughs> guess not. Now we still have a lot more to do. I mean, look at my exploration. Uh, if you're new here, I explore everything 200% and I have everything done. Literally everything. That includes most achievements as well. Looks like we have a bunch of stuff to defeat. All the waypoints are not unlocked. There's 45?
Oh, and I just need to go around and beat a bunch of things in co-op. Okay. There's no need to exchange. All right. Well, those pleasant trees. Let's go beat up some weekly bosses then. I'll just do uh the Arlequino and this for the thing really fast, and then um I'll call it a night. I love being in co-op and doing silly things. Help. Can you start the match? Bruh. I guess that's a sign that I need to get off for the night, huh? Ugh, it's already nine o'clock. Dang. Already, folks. Thanks for showing off that I was watching Killer Kokomi. But okay. <laughs> I was not. It's been a while, but... <sighs> I mean, I was, but earlier. Anyways, switch over to ending and rate someone. Thank you guys so much for coming out of Blast. I'm glad that we finished up the Natlin Archon quest. Obviously, there is a lot more to do, but we will get there one, uh, one, uh, one stream at a time. I think we'll rate as. And I will see you guys tomorrow.